world peace possible in our time? I have an emphatic yes to that question. I have felt that for many, many years, for most of my life. I have felt that peace is possible within our life, within our lifetime. Most people would look around and say, it's absurd to think that. <laughs> it's absurd to think that we could keep from destroying ourselves. How, how can we possibly do this? Well, the issue is, what makes man, what makes the human race distinct from the other species? Of course, we could say what makes us distinct is our ability to destroy, our violence, our inability to control ourselves, our capacity to spread all over the earth indiscriminately, our ability to create trash wherever we go. We could say, oh, that makes us distinct. But we can also say, what makes us distinct in actuality is that we have spirit, that we have a soul, that we have a soul essence, that we have consciousness, and that our consciousness can expand and be raised. And this is the point. If there is to be peace in our lifetime, it will be because we have a capacity in our consciousness to actually change ourselves and to change the world. The collective possibility of our consciousness as a unified, synchronized force has yet to be truly tapped. It is through the synchronization of a collective mass of consciousness that we can attain peace and that we can change the world. The great psychic Edgar Cayce uh, once said that if the human consciousness were harnessed together as a force, it could actually change the activity of the sun. This is the truth. The sun affects our electromagnetic field, the electromagnetic affects our brain. Our brain can affect the electromagnetic field. We know that we live in a field of consciousness. We know that we live in a bioelectromagnetic field. And how we think and how we feel and how we do can change that whole field. There were studies that were being made by the Princeton University uh, Research Group as well as another organization called the uh, Global Coherence Initiative. And they demonstrated that, for instance, at the 9-11, that there was a great spike in consciousness. Satellites actually detected a perturbance in the electromagnetic field. And that was due to the massive response in the human psyche to what was occurring at the 9-11. Even more interesting is that 20, there was a spike in consciousness and in the electromagnetic field more than 20 minutes before that event which demonstrated that there was some kind of intuition in the collective unconscious foreshadowing that occurrence. We know that the medicine men can make thunderstorms, can change the weather patterns. Well, the collective human consciousness <clears throat> can actually change the electromagnetic field of the earth, the, electro the collective human consciousness as a synchronized force can change the whole field of consciousness itself. This is very possible and it's attainable in a very, very short period of time. All we need to do is to put out the word to create mass global synchronized meditations with this particular focused purpose and we will be able to do it. We will be able to actually create peace and create miracles.